This video is going to show you how to remove the red HTC developer warning when you first start your phone up and it's also going to show you how to change the lazy panda thing at the top of the bootloader. I'm going to choose to reboot the bootloader. If you don't have a ROM that lets you do that, simply hold the volume down and the power button down at the same time until you get into the bootloader. Now unfortunately it's stuck for me. If we give it another minute it should work just fine. There we go. You'll see at the top there, it says Lazy Panda. Whenever we choose Reboot, press Power, and you're going to see the red message right here. This build is for development purposes only. You can get rid of that or change it. I'm going to show you how to do that. Three, two, one. So now we're at the computer. We're just going to plug the phone in. And then you're going to choose disk drive and done. Because this needs to go on the external SD card, not the internal. That's what it says in OP. And we'll close this out. Scroll down here. Until you see this one right here. This part is completely optional. Take this. Copy it. Click download. Down them all. Right click. Paste. Start. All right, the MD5 verified. If you don't use Firefox and you don't want to use down the mall, there's another tool called WinMD5Sum. There's even a portable version of it. Basically, you'll just right click on something, like send to WinMD5Sum, and then paste it and compare. All right, they're the same. Again, that's optional. I do that every time because you're messing with stuff that can potentially break your phone. Just run the bootloader customizer. For the banner name, I'm going to choose What Would Josh Do? You can make it show S on, hide the development disclaimer, custom development disclaimer. This device belongs to what would Josh do? Apply. And then I'm going to press create zip. Save it to my desktop. Press OK. Close it out and then click on it. Send to removable disk and safely eject it. All right, let's go back to the phone. Alright, so we're back to the phone. Make sure you drag this down, click on disk drive, and then choose charge only and done. Then eject it. Now we're going to manually power the phone down to the and put it in bootloader. And you might want to give it a minute, trust me. I don't know what it is with HTC phones and them shutting down all the way, but it takes a long time. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and give it a shot. Hold volume down and power. You'll see the bottom lights flash. There they go. Once they stop flashing, you can let go. We still have the little text down there because we haven't flashed the zip yet. The bootloader should automatically pick up that zip. Oh, well, it didn't go into bootloader. Alright, now hold it down. There we go. Press volume up to start the update. Now we press power to reboot. You see that? Look at that. It says this device belongs to what would Josh do. And it is centered, which is nice. Something you're going to want to make sure you do or it's going to annoy the crap out of you every single time you reboot to bootloader is delete that file that we put on the SD card. I recommend using ES File Explorer. I also have Root Explorer, but I do like the interface that ES File Explorer provides. We need to go here to EXTSD and find that PJ whatever right here. Just long press on it and press delete and OK. Now we can hold power and choose bootloader. If you don't have a custom ROM that lets you do it like I said earlier, just hold volume down and power until it flashes like three times I think. Let go and then hold them down again until you see the bootloader. Alright, at the top there it should say, what would Josh do? And would you look at that, now it says, what would Josh do? You can change this up here to locked, show S on, and hide the little disclaimer. And then take it to Sprint, and they won't know otherwise. <laughs> oh man. Huge shout out to Regalinod, not sure how to pronounce his name still, for making this possible. A couple other people also made this possible, but he's the developer of this tool. All links will be in the description. Please follow me on Twitter for updates on new videos and etc. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up by clicking the like button. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. This is What Would Josh Do and I'm out.